welcome to Math with Jen. In this video, we are going to look at place values of one tenth and one hundredths. So first we're going to look at one tenth. So here I have a number line going from zero to one. This whole is broken up into tenths. That means that each equal part of this number line is equivalent to one tenth. So that would be the fraction one over 10. Okay, they're each representing one out of 10 equal parts. So that's the value one tenth. In grade four, you are getting into decimals now. So this one tenth that we can write as a fraction, it can also be written as a decimal. That would be the decimal 0 0.1. In grade four, you're gonna start looking at the place values to the right. Okay, so the place values to the right are values that are less than one. So if I had the number one, the number one, there is a decimal behind it that we just usually don't write unless there's a part of a whole we wanna talk about. So in this video, we're talking about that part of a whole, like how we had a fraction that talked about part of the whole. We are now gonna be going into some place values that are to the right of the decimal. It's representing part of a whole. So one tenth would be right here. This is the tenths place. The next place value is the hundredths. When you don't have a value for a place value to the right, you're just gonna put a zero. Like we did when we were doing the whole numbers to the left in grade three, when we talked about place value over here, when we didn't have ones, we would put a zero. For grade four, you are only going to the hundredths. You can either write each part of these as one over 10, the fraction, you can write it as a fraction, or now you can write it as a decimal. So 0.1, 0 0.1 is one tenth. If I'm on my number line, I have a dot that represents this value. I can say, well, I have one, two, three. I have three tenths, okay? Because I have three equal parts out of those 10. Decimal-wise, I still have three tenths, but now I'm just gonna go to the place value of tenths and I'm gonna put a three. So we have three tenths. So we have another one. We're gonna look at this place value. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal parts that go up to where this mark is. So this mark is representing seven tenths so you can write it now as seven tenths. Zero is there because we don't have a whole number. We're only talking about that part of a whole. So we're gonna put a zero whenever we don't have a part that we're talking about. Seven tenths of a whole. So this is a tenths place, so I can put a seven there. For the hundredths place, we're gonna talk about the same thing. Okay, I don't have a number line that's broken up into a hundredths, but we are going to talk about, um, let's talk about the fraction what a fraction of five hundredths would look like, okay? So this means that the whole is being broken up into 100 equal parts, and we have five of those equal parts. The decimal, we have the tenths place and the hundredths place. So this is saying five hundredths, so the five has to go in the hundredths place, and remember, if we don't have a value for a place value, we put in a zero. So this would be five hundredths. Say we have 86 hundredths. There's our fraction. We have something that's being broken up into 100 equal parts, and we have 86 of those. When we go to do our place value, we have 86 hundredths. So we are going to, we have to stop at the hundredths place value and we're gonna write in that 86. So that's 86 hundredths. And this should look familiar to you. This is what we use when we talk about dollars. So a dollar is broken up into 100 pennies, which is 100 equal parts. And each of those pennies are worth one cent, one hundredth. You learned about money in third grade. So $2, five dimes, five dimes would be 50 cents. $2 would just be $2. And then a quarter would be 25 cents. So you can now write it as a decimal. So this 50 cents is saying that you have 50 out of those 100 pennies that you needed 
which is 50, and then we're in the hundreds place value, so 50 hundredths. 25 cents is 25 cents out of 100 cents that make a dollar. And then now you know the decimal is 25 hundredths. And then $2. $2 is our whole. So really there's a decimal behind that too. You just didn't know about it until now. So now we're going to add all these up together. So I have $2. And then I'm going to go ahead and line these up like we did when we talked about place value in third grade. So we have zero hundredths, zero hundredths, five hundredths. So I'm going to write down the five. And then the zero tenths, five tenths, two tenths. So that's seven tenths. And then our whole number of two. So two dollars and seventy-five cents. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope that you learned something new. See you next time. Bye.